157 the posterior pituitary gland is not a true endocrine gland so this posterior pituitary gland or the neurohypophysis it does not synthesize any hormone it just stores the hypothalamic hormones that is oxytocin and vasopressin and releases them so out of these choices we can see it only stores and releases hormones so that would be our correct choice the, it is the anterior pituitary which is under the regulation of hypothalamus and since it does not secrete enzymes, so this is wrong. So our best answer is option number 2. Now the next question 158, the part of the nephron involved in active absorption of sodium. Now here active absorption of sodium occurs maximally in the proximal convoluted tubule and it is obligate reabsorption while in DCT also absorption occurs but that will be only when there is aldosterone hormone present. So out of these choices the best answer is option number 2 and that is the correct answer. So let us move on to the next question 159. One fifty nine. Now which of the following is hormone releasing IUD. Now these all four of them are intrauterine contraceptive devices but out of these the hormone releasing is LNG20 which is releasing levonorgestrel which is a synthetic progesterone while multi-load and copper 7 these are copper ions releasing IUDs while lipase loop is non-medicated or biologically inert IUD. So our answer is the first one. Then the next question 160, which of the following is incorrect regarding vasectomy? Now in vasectomy the vasodifferents are cut and tied. So as a result the sperms will not be able to reach into the seminal fluid. So in this case no sperm occurs in seminal fluid that is right. No sperms occur in epididymis but epididymis will be having these sperms because it is after epididymis that vast difference occurs and that is cut. So this is incorrect while this is a terminal method of contraception where the reversibility is very poor so that is why we can still take it as correct. So the best answer is option 2. And next 161. 